Hi, and it's from Never Stop Trucking. Here today we are talking about uh, dispatcher equipment. I tried to record this video two times and both times I lost my footage. So I'm going to do this for the third time. So let's start. Uh, what does a dispatcher need to uh, be a fully functional, uh, professional, productive dispatcher uh, that's going to attract more business and do his or her uh, work um, productively and uh, efficiently. So, of course, you need a computer and internet and phone. Those are the three basic things that you need. And then some of the stuff that I'm going to be adding on um, is uh, either optional or um, actually uh, very desirable. Uh, and then you can add more of uh, these things uh, with time. So in order to start, you really don't need much. But uh, once you see that this is working, that you're uh, gaining more carriers, more owner operators, you're making more money, then you should invest more in your equipment that will make you more productive. Uh, it will make things easier for you, okay? And you will be able to do them easy and fast and on time, and uh, you will actually enjoy your work. And if you enjoy your work, of course, you're going to want to do more. you going to want to maybe even expand and then uh, make this uh, a full-time uh, adventure, full-time business, something that will uh, uh, make you and your family a lot of money. So the computer is a must, a monitor of course that comes with the computer is a must and a desk. Now what kind of computer do you need? You can start with anything of course but it has to be uh, somewhat fast, it has to be uh, powerful uh, where it's not going to freeze or uh, shut off in the middle of your phone call and uh, you know you need uh, two minutes or more uh, for the computer to uh, come back up and then you potentially lost a load or two. So this computer should be a working computer. Now uh, once you um, see that this is uh, working, then you should upgrade to a better computer unless you already have one. And what does that new computer uh, would have to look like? Well, I always recommend for everyone now, it's a standard for everyone, at least two monitors. Even three is good, uh, but two is, is really making you faster and more productive and then easier for you. You don't have to switch between the windows, between tabs. And honestly, I know some companies that have been in business for like 10, 20 years. And then uh, when I see them, you know, uh, sitting, <laughs> sitting like this on, you know, looking at a small outdated computer that's 10 years old, uh, I mean, monitor, uh, you know, it's, it's just bad for your health. It's bad for your business. Uh, nowadays monitors are not that expensive and then just get a decent monitor for like hundred and fifty dollars because you know you've been in business so long and you're making all this money and you can afford it and it's better for everyone okay so the computer should have um, a dedicated graphic card uh, not the one that's integrated into motherboard so when you buy a computer and then just uh, for your reference I will include some of this uh, these things that I recommend that you get. Now, uh, what I'm using here, you can find it on my website, neverstoptruck.in. And then if you go to resources section, you can see what I'm using and all these links are clickable and it will take you straight to, to, to the product. It doesn't have to be like this. This is only because I've been doing it so long and I enjoy it and I always want to feel... Uh, you know, I, I like, you know, uh, text, I like technology and, and I like everything that looks pretty. So I, I kind of enjoy it. That's why I invest in this. But you don't, of course, need all that. So uh, all these links that for these uh, things, for this equipment that I would recommend that, that you get will be in description of this video. So the computer, um, don't get the one that has um, an integrated graphics card into the motherboard. Uh, get one that has a dedicated graphics card and uh, or they also call it a video card 
uh, that can handle at least two monitors and I would actually go one for step further and get the one that can handle three monitors that, that you can connect at the same time and use be able to use this uh, each one of these monitors individually okay um, so uh, you may not use all three of them or even two of them at the beginning but down the road you might decide that you want to expand and it's nice to uh, know that you have that option since you're investing all that money uh, you're buying that uh, new new computer just get one that can handle three monitors uh, if you see a computer on uh, you know amazon or best buy or walmart anywhere you know while well, walmart it, it, it you know it's okay too it, but um, i don't like to get my um um technology from uh, Walmart it's usually either uh, Best Buy or Amazon or uh, some of these websites like New Egg or uh, I think Tiger Direct what they call it uh, but uh, <clears throat> you know one of these uh, websites that uh, have been doing this for a long time and that carry quality equipment um, so when you look at the back of the computer and you look at the uh, graphics card um, you will see that there are three uh, inputs there and then s some of them might be uh, HDMI uh, or a DVI but uh, sometimes they have these uh, computers uh, with a graphic card that has uh, uh, three of those uh, inputs but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can use three monitors sometimes they have three uh, but you can only use two monitors at the same time they only gave you different options so you can use you can use different cables to connect your computer so make sure you do your research ask them call them uh, uh, look for reviews and then see if this computer can handle two or three months this computer should have uh, a lot of uh, ram a lot of memory uh, so the more the better uh, don't don't buy something that that has a, a low memory because you will need it uh, you want your computer to uh, be able to process things fast and that can uh, have uh, open uh, program that ha can handle open programs at the same time like if you have uh, you know uh, your uh, web browser and then you have your email uh, you have your um, pdf uh, software pdf program uh, you might need something else too so you know you're always going to have five or six programs uh, running simultane simultaneously and you want your computer to be able to handle that smoothly okay so you can do your work uh, uninterrupted and then the processor always look uh, for something uh, new or uh, decent like don't uh, like you know with uh, uh, Pentium you know you know i6 i7 just look something that's uh, either the, the latest processor because you know I don't know when you're going to be watching this video maybe in a year or two uh, maybe they'll have something new by then always uh, like e either uh, the, the the newest one but those are uh, usually expensive the fastest processors or or something that's at least uh, close to it don't don't go for something outdated uh, because that will be slow now this computer is your workhorse it's your engine uh, like the drivers have their trucks and they want the truck to be functional uh, to be able to haul weight uh, be comfortable and uh, be economical you you this is your uh, workhorse this is your truck and this uh, uh, machine has to be good it has to be able to handle everything you do on a daily basis you know uh, I hate it when I call someone and they say well you know my computer just cr uh, crashed come on you've been in this business for so long you're working for a big company and you don't have a decent computer and now you know like well i i have to you know boot it back up and then i'm waiting for it to come back it's doing an update or something no that's you're you're wasting time loads are uh disappearing from the board someone might call you and need something and then you know you're just waiting for for your computer to to start you know a lot can happen in those two three five minutes okay so you need a, a, a really a good computer with fast processor a lot of memory uh, hard drive also should be big uh, where you can uh, save a lot of documents I always go to for for, for a big uh, hard, hard drive like you know at least uh, like one terabyte 
Um, so you can, uh, the documents, the programs are getting bigger and heavier, and therefore your computer will need a, a lot of storage, okay? So that, that's about computer monitors. For monitors, you know, it really doesn't have to be uh, something expensive and, and you know, uh, great because uh, at the end, you know, all you're doing is, is uh, looking for loads and handling your everyday business. Uh, unless you like to, you know, watch uh, uh, 4K videos, you like to um, maybe even um, if you're doing videos or uh, recording like I am or um, photography, that's different. Uh, but the monitor, it doesn't have to be uh, like the highest end monitor. Uh, unless you're into that stuff and you like cool things, but that that's totally fine. But maybe you can do that down the road. In the beginning, you just need a, a decent monitor, and I would say like at least maybe 24 inches at least, because uh, right now uh, these monitors are not that expensive. You know, if you get a small monitor like 17 inches, it's just going to be too small. Uh, it's better if you have a, a bigger surface to work on and to look at it. To look at so a bigger monitor is always good <clears throat> now a printer uh, a lot of these things are done electronically uh, with email and uh, digital documents uh, but the printer is uh, still useful you, you're going to need it to print out uh, maybe sometimes print on a bill of lading or a confirmation or tax documents uh, something related to your business it doesn't have to be necessarily related to uh, the loads you're doing uh, but something you know uh, for your business that you have to print out maybe send someone uh, s something through mail i like brother printers and uh, in last like 10 years i've been using them uh, but i would suggest that you go with a laser printer uh, don't go with you know one of these where you have to use cartridges and then change them every so often uh, black and white is fine for business you don't need color unless you like to print out uh, um, things in color but I, I've always said a, a black uh, um, you know black and white printer that only uh, uses uh, black cartridge and you know that's totally fine so a uh, brother printer uh, black and white uh, laser um, why laser because uh, the um, the cartridges uh, is the cartridges are um, uh, uh, cheaper they can last you a long time. If you're not printing a lot of things, then, you know, one of these can maybe last you a year or so. Uh, also, um, they're more efficient, and um, th the printer is not going to uh, use a lot of it uh, because when you use your regular cartridges, like, uh, you know, inkjet uh, printers, um, they have to clean the nozzles every so often. So even if you're not using your printer, uh, you will still, it will still use uh, that color, okay? Because every time it's performing a self-cleaning every so often, it will use some of that color. And then like if you have it there for a year and let's say you haven't printed out anything, it will still use that color and then you'll have to keep buying it bu and buying it even though you're not using it, maybe e not even at all, uh, because it uses that uh, the, the color to uh, when it's uh, uh, cleaning, doing the self-cleaning with laser, that's not the case. Now, if you're not printing for a year, uh, the color is still there and you can use it. So that's why I like uh, laser. Fax, you really don't need fax. Um, I'm using uh, less and less and less e fax. I, I say e fax because I've been using e fax for so long, but now I'm using CocoFax and that's cheaper. Efax is like $15 a month and CocoFax is $5 a month and everything is done uh, electronically on their website and you can also send faxes with, through your email and you will receive the fax on your email. It's only $5 a month and then the only thing when I need to use it is if I'm sending my driver a bill of lading to a truck stop. Um, because then they can print it out at a truck stop and that's what I'm using for. Usually I don't use faxes uh, for anything. Um, you could try without it and see how that works or just get one of these cheaper ones for five dollars. Uh, and then uh, the fax machines, I mean, I don't even know if ever anyone is using them anymore. Uh, maybe some big companies, but now they, you know, like lately they've been 
putting them into you know all in one printers you know like scanner printer and fax machine and uh, i i never i don't use that you know because i use my phone i use one of these free apps uh, like genius scan or a cam uh, cam scan and then you just uh, take a picture it converts it to pdf format and then you can just email it to anyone but if you're using one of these uh, uh, digital faxes, like uh, electronic faxes, then you just, um, they uh, give you a phone number where you're going to send your email to, and then just go to your regular email and set an attachment to a fax number uh, from your phone. So this is really cool because you don't have to be in your office. You don't have to be near a printer or a, a fax machine. You can be anywhere in the world and you can send and receive faxes from your phone, which is really cool. Um, now, phones. As far as phone goes, uh, right now I use my cell phone and that has been working for me because uh, I don't have that many trucks and uh, I am not paying uh, extra fee and then I can take it with me anywhere and then I can just uh, talk on my phone. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, voice over IP, that's what they call them, these services where you can have a phone number and phone service through your internet. And uh, it's not like, you know, like AT&T or Verizon, then you have where you have a physical line, uh, like old fashioned line, and you have an old fashioned phone. Uh, nowadays, uh, most companies are using uh, voice over IP. And then that, uh, it's a good thing because you can use it even if you're abroad. You know, if you're not here, uh, they send you a phone. Uh, it's a regular phone, like an office phone. Uh, what you do is uh, uh, using a network cable, you connect it to your modem, and then you have a phone. Uh, a great thing about that is like you can go home, take this phone with you, and plug it into your router at home uh, or anywhere in the world, and then uh, you can just uh, receive phone calls uh, through that same number and make phone calls and that that is also uh, very cool and uh, I used to I used a lot of these phones uh, you name them uh, because none of them really work for me the last one that I used was Nextiva you have a, a link in the description and those are the only ones that I, I was uh, g they were really good uh, they were like forty dollars a month for a line and I took the month-to-month uh, -month option. I wanted to be able to cancel. If you commit for a year or two, you get a better deal. But I didn't want to commit. And it's a good thing that I didn't. I used them for like four or five months. And I, I, I realized I'm not using it that much. I'm always on my cell phone. Why I'm paying for it? Even though the, the service was great, you know, the quality is really good. And they have an app too. Uh, you can use it in your phone. So you can uh, use that phone number from your phone and receive phone calls uh, to from that number at that number on your phone uh, but uh, yeah you can try an uh, nextiva or uh, you know your cell phone uh, headset uh, these um, uh, voice over ip phones they have also a, a cool thing you, you can uh, use a headset with them uh, you uh, unplug the handle and then uh, plug in a headset and they have wireless Bluetooth uh, headsets and then you can just put in your head and then I always recommend using that um, f when I record my videos uh, like a day a day in the life of a dispatcher I uh, use my cell phone and I put them on speaker just so you guys can hear uh, what the brokers are saying uh, other otherwise I use uh, my Bluetooth this is just a regular Bluetooth that you use for your cell phones and uh, but if you're using one of those office phones, they also have uh, this in wireless, but it has to be specific for that phone. You can't buy uh, these that, you know, connect to your cell phone uh, via Bluetooth. These will not work. You have to have a, a, a special headset that works uh, with a, vo a voice over IP phone and you can Google that. And then I'll try to put in the description one of those. Um, what's really nice about these is that uh, uh, you don't have to, you know, like do this all the time, you know, the, you know, your shoulders, your arm um, will get sore and sore. And then you like when you're typing, you have to put it here. Um, if you put them on speaker, then if you have more people in the office, uh, they will hear what you're uh, saying. It, it might uh, bother them. Um, when someone is on speaker, they might not hear you good. Uh, it might frustrate them. They, your uh, speaker 
uh, your microphone might pick up the noises around you and it's not professional you know you 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 sound like you're in a uh, in a car driving you sound like you're on bottom of a barrel of a barrel and uh, <clears throat> uh this uh uh, makes you sound more professional and more clear and people will enjoy talking to you okay if you're on speaker uh, they, they will not enjoy uh, that conversation and they'll just want to hang up with you as soon as possible okay desk um, i have a really nice desk that uh, i ordered from a, uh, they're called progressive uh, and they make these office desks and they uh, last for a long time um I, I also like to be able to raise my desk and, you know, this is a standing desk. It, it's uh, motorized and you can just program the height and it will go up and I can, you know, work while I'm standing, you know, stretch my legs. Uh, but uh, a good uh, large desk is a must, you know. Uh, so anything that you have your uh, on, on phone, even if you can dedicate uh, like a, a kitchen table for this, because because they are large and 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 high, and you can put uh, uh, a lot of things on that desk. But to me, it's not uh, like in my videos when you, you you see my desk is always clean and it's always like that. Sometimes I have uh, like a, a few things, but at at the end of the day, I always uh, put them away. Um, you know, take the trash away or whatever it is. And then when I come in the morning, I'm coming to a clean office, clean room, clean desk, and everything is, is in perfect order. So I, I uh, makes me enjoy uh, my day. I know where my things are. And even when you're working uh, throughout the day, if you have a lot of cl uh, clutter on your desk, then it, it uh, prevents you from being productive. It produces uh, uh, stress, you know. Uh, be, you know, in back of the head, you might not realize it right away, but uh, it, it will. And then even look at, at uh, uh, you know, really successful people, you know, uh, like people who who done great, you know, millionaires, billionaires, look at their setups. It's always minimal. You know, it's always minimal. They don't have sticky notes all over. I mean, if that's your thing that, you know, I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. I'm just uh, recommending to you that you don't use those sticky notes on your on your monitors on your walls there is no need for that you can have uh, one uh, small uh, notebook like this uh, use something uh, digitally on on your computer uh, uh, you know a spreadsheet or, or something weird and then you can also share that with your co-workers and you can always access it like if you're um, in your office or you don't have an office you're working from home you can access it uh, if you go someplace else, you go on vacation, you, you are in a store on your phone, you can access those notes digitally everywhere, okay? So it just looks, I think it looks better and uh, you're um, organized better if you don't have uh, those sticky notes. But a large desk that's free from clutter and you only have essential things on your desk, I think that's a really good way uh, to, to work uh, produces a less stress you look more organized you are more organized and uh, and you enjoy working at, at a desk like that a chair i have a nice chair it's not expensive it's from amazon the only thing is that uh, sometimes it makes these squeaky noises uh, but other than that it's really comfortable it's big i'm a uh, large uh, guy and then i need something good because you know remember this is like like even if like when you're in your car or in your truck you need something you need to be comfortable because you can't move a lot in your in your car uh, especially if you're uh, going on a long trip here you're sitting all day in this chair why have uh you know invest in a chair at the beginning you don't need something fancy but down the road you know once once you make some money uh, invest in a good chair because it's the point is not that you're being comfortable the point is that you're sitting correctly okay it's your back your shoulders your arms your legs um, with time you will um, feel it on yourself and then you'll be like well you know my, why is my shoulder you, you it's gonna take you a long time to figure out that because you have this chronic uh, shoulder pain or a back pain because of your chair so you need a good chair speaker you don't need uh, uh, speakers for your 
computer, but it would be a nice thing to have something. It can be cheap, it can be old, it doesn't matter, as long as uh, you can hear sound, because sometimes these load boards will produce sounds when there is a, no, uh, a new um, uh, load coming out, or if you're using a program that uses sounds, uh, sometimes you want to uh, watch something on your computer, or like me when I'm doing Zoom calls, you know, it's, it's uh, a good thing to have a speaker and doesn't have to be anything fancy. A USB hub, unless you're using a computer that has like a 10, 15 um, USB uh, outlets, uh, then you don't need a USB hub, but most computers don't have. Most computers have like four to six, maybe sometimes eight, and sometimes they are not accessible. Sometimes if you are, are using a tower, uh, then they have them in the back or on top. Uh, it, it's awkward. Uh, I'm using iMac and iMacs don't have that many uh, USB ports, you know, like only like four or five. Uh, so I got myself a USB hub that has like uh, about like eight or ten additional, uh, it's like one, two, seven additional uh, ports. So, and then I'm using only two of them. So I'm using 10, 10 USB ports. And you, nowadays you, you plug it in everything into that USB hub. So sometimes when you, you know, down the road, get a, a USB hub so you can always have it there uh, plugged in um, and then ready, uh, like accessible somewhere near you, then you can, you don't have to uh, pull out your tower desk and, and, you know, look for it, go down on, on the floor. Uh, you can just plug in whatever you need to plug in into that uh, USB port, like charge your phone, con you know, your speaker might be powered through that uh, USB stick, um, uh, lights, LED lights, and anything that you have, you can use it for that. Uh, good light is essential. Uh, ideally, you want to uh, be near a window. Um, don't have your monitor um, next to a window like I have. Uh, I do have it, but my blinds are, are always uh, uh, shut, okay? So I don't even uh, see through the window because if you have sunlight be behind your uh, monitor, uh, you will not be able to see things um, the way you're supposed to in your monitor and it will bother you. So you can always sit ne uh, close to a window but turn to the window uh, uh, you know, with your side or your back. Uh, but if you don't have natural light, then you know you can always uh, use uh, um, uh, light bulbs. But make sure that you have good lighting. Don't work in dark. Uh, don't, don't struggle to see things because eventually it will uh, make you tired, your brain, uh, you're going to be um, uh, frustrated. So have some natural lights, you know, whatever the, the color is, like if it's more yellowish or, or white or blue, whatever you like, um, but uh, make sure you have plenty of light. Light bulbs are not that expensive, you know, if the one you have is weak, just get uh, a stronger one. Uh, now, furniture, if you have an office or even if you're working from home, uh, make sure you always have something on the side like a chair where if you have someone coming over, uh, then, you know, um, they can sit on a chair uh, next to you and then you can talk to them. Uh, so that's a nice thing to have. Uh, file cabinets uh, are really a must because uh, uh, down the road you're going to have more and more paperwork like taxes, uh, invoices, things like that. Uh, and then you want to sort them with your uh, th with your uh, folders, usually like hanging folders, and then you put them, you hang them in a file cabinet. And these uh, metal uh, or steel cabinets are very expensive, uh, but they can uh, last a long time. They can last. You can pass them on uh, to your children too, uh, because they are indestructible. Unless you take a hammer and hit it, uh, they're gonna stay there forever. Uh, they're expensive. Uh, we are talking about like a two, three, five hundred dollars. But uh, uh, I'm always able to find a used one at like a Goodwill store or uh, one of these uh, um, stores, like uh, what they call it, thrift stores. Uh, if you go to one of them in your area and then look for a file cabinet, and then uh, usually if they come, if they have them, they usually price them really cheap. And then you, you have to check them out constantly or ask them to let you know when you get one. When they get one, uh, I get like a, a four drawer cabinet uh, for like $40, which is a, a good deal. And it's used. Uh, the color might not be great, uh, but it, it's doing uh, its purpose. So a file cabinet is a good thing to have. And then office supplies. Uh, we're going to talk about office supplies uh, like, uh, you know, pens, uh, notebooks, uh, 
notepads, uh, whiteouts, um, uh, pins, uh, paper clips, uh, markers, highlighters, um, printer for paper for your folder, like plastic folders. They're, they're really uh, nice things to have. You know, you if you're by yourself, you're not going to use them that much. Maybe you're going to go uh, shopping for these office supplies once a year. And uh, it just looks more professional if you're giving someone uh, paper, if you're sending someone paper through, uh, through mail. Um, it just looks more professional. It will save your documents and then uh, it will make you feel uh, organized too. So uh, it's like a one-time investment, maybe like $100 for office supplies, but it will last you a long time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.